Hi guys, welcome back to Model Image. So this week I wanted to talk about, you know, inspired style. A lot of people call it looks for less, but it's just how I feel the need when I'm inspired by my favorite designer. And this week I wanted to tackle Christian Dior and what I do when I want to take part in what the brand is doing, but you know, I can't buy everything that they put out and <laughs> just getting the feel and the look of the style um, and you know, participating in that way. So I'll start out with bags. The first bag that I got was, I think I showed you in my last video, and this is the Lady Dior inspired bag. It was in the fall and they came out with their set of carpet bags um, and I was actually looking for carpet bags. And so when I found this and it was such a close, you know, relation, to Dior, I'm like, oh, life made. The other carpet bag that I got that was kind of Dior inspired was this one. I would have shown it in my top vintage bags. Just the color scheme um, also really reminded me of Dior and is right up my alley when it comes to um, feeling that designer, you know, feeling that designer luxe whenever I take this bag. And that's what it's all about. Yes, you wanna, you don't wanna shell out $6,000 or $4,000 every time you want to feel that, you know, that luxurious feeling, but I love fashion and I wanna take part. And so my look for less when it comes to the, that carpet version of the Lady Dior was to, you know, go for these structured um, carpet bags. And this is a number two. What I wanted to do was get one of those book totes. I was obsessed with the book totes. Um, I loved when the um, blue mon monogram color version came out. And so my version of that was to get another structured book tote. Oh. So what I did, because I loved the shape and feel of it, was to get this one. So not exactly, but I still, you know, when I take my crossbody and I just walk around with this book tote, this still gave me that feel of like, oh, my book tote. It's the blue version. It might not be monogram, but it it, it was it reminded me a lot of Christian Dior, so I really enjoy just taking this simple book tote. It's the same same type of shape and um, dimension of the book tote, so I did still feel that um, enjoyment taking it. Another version of it is this. And this is a vintage Elizabeth Arden bag, I think. The, I took the label off, but I did get it on the vintage market, and this is another one that whenever I'm, you know, like I said, I have my crossbody and I would just, you know, if I need anything additional that I need to take, you know, I'll just pull for my book tote. I love the shape and this does have a little more like a pattern to it. So this also gives me that nice, oh, I'm just taking my tote along with me and my, I'm, I'm checking myself out in the mirror. <laughs> I'm just taking my tote along with me, you know, um, along with my crossbody because, you know, I'm such a lady and this works well into my ladylike style. So another one I liked, I also liked that it had like these gold hardwares on it and just the structure of it. I just really enjoy my inspired book tote. When it came around to spring, summer, I wanted something more vibrant and so I wanted now Another book tote. Good thing I didn't have the money because I'd be buying like book totes like nobody's business. And so I saw the orange version of that and then I was even more obsessed. So then I was on the hunt again to find a dupe for this orange book tote. I didn't find the exact size, but there's a smaller version that when I saw this, and you'll see what I mean. Is this not the Dior book tote? 
Oh my god, uh, I think this was made in, it has a, it has a little zip here. It's, it's, a, it's not as, um, it's a soft woven bag, so it's not the structure, but look at the color of this. Look at the color of, I hope you can see this. Look at the color of this. That's one side, and then this is the other side. Is this not the book tote in a woven bag? Um, there's nothing inside. It's just open. It's it's really soft. The handles were a little longer on this, and I kind of I cut them down and and restitched them to give them the length of that book tote look. But isn't this isn't isn't this the book tote though? <laughs> so with this, I was able to live out my orange book tote dreams and I'm definitely pulling this back out for this summer because I can't wait to pull this out in my and now they started making them in smaller versions so this will be even more on trend for this spring summer spring um, I'm not sure what time we'll be able to get out of ISO quarantine but um, hopefully in Jesus name all this comes down and we can get back to some normalization but for the time being i'm just enjoying looking forward to better days because better days are coming so um i have my book tote ready and waiting for that so because i've been such a dear fan for god knows how long you know i've, I've loved fashion since i was you know about 14 i really started getting into like creating my own looks my own outfits and you know purchasing certain little things i'd save my money up to buy jewelry um i just realized i didn't put any on <laughs> but when it came around to the saddlebag and you know the monogram was hot again and you know the 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 blue saddlebag blue monogram saddlebag was like dancing in front of me and then i saw the red monogram i'm like oh which one and i really enjoyed the red monogram and i was going monogram crazy i wasn't about to buy the book tote because even the vintage versions were really high now so instead i did go out and get a vintage version and so i was able to participate in the monogram party but i was able to save some money and get a vintage version instead so i still you know get to take my vintage monogram shoulder bag out and that also kind of helps my craving for some Christian Dior monogram print I have just one pair of shoes that I think I still have stuff in storage I'm not sure but this uh, when I saw the kitten heels it was all over there was this sheer one and I went out on the hunt to find a dupe for it and I was able to find this this is by a brand called Nina so this has really helped me to satisfy that craving for my Dior slingback shoes for now but because I enjoyed wearing it so much, I know that if I do go ahead and purchase the Dior Slingback, I'll get a lot of wear out of it and I'll really enjoy wearing it because I really um, enjoyed this pair of shoes. Also to try and get more Dior items into my wardrobe because I'm just a Dior girl. I'm, you know, that ladylike elegance, that luxurious feeling. I just want to you know have more of that and I was able to bring that in in the form of some belts and so instead of going and spending on the belts which I think were also four to six hundred dollars or was it a thousand dollars when the belts came out I also like okay I love these belts I want a Dior belt as well it would really add to like my dresses regardless whether it's my vintage dresses or just plain dresses would be good to add a belt to that and so I went on the hunt for a belt and you know I think I bought four <laughs> so the first Dior belt I found on the vintage market was this this Dior belt and it's just this burgundy leather CD belt and I just love this because 
just adding it to an outfit it just adds just a little touch of something to my to your dress the other one that I got because I was still in monogram craziness was this one and it's this um, monogram again with the red monogram and it says CD but it's the vintage I think it's the 70s version of their belts and so this is how it looks and this again you know whether it's with a dress or with jeans this also gives me my see my Christian Dior vibes that I'm looking for in my monogram print so it does give me the look that I want so I went ahead on the vintage market and I picked these up the only one that I got that wasn't the best it was, it's also a little big I need to get the hole punched because I haven't used it since I bought it um, is this one it does say CD it does have like um, holes at the back that you need to put it around but it's a little big for me so I have I need to get another hole in it for me to be able to use it but it's also in the same burgundy colorway as the other two and so my crave I still however didn't have anything of the blue monogram and that is the one thing that I wasn't able to find or find reasonably especially with because I was eyeing the saddlebag in the blue monogram um, and then when the 30 Montan came I again I wanted the blue mon um, monogram in the 30 Montan so I went out and while I was just scrolling eBay and I searched for you know Dior, Dior belt and this came up and I finally was able to satisfy my <laughs> search for blue monogram in another belt so this one is a different CD like this but it is the blue monogram belt this here So thank you so much for watching. If you do like what you see, I do have some more styling videos coming up. I'd love if you could subscribe and join the family. And if you like this video, please like. So I, I do have some other inspired style videos in mind. And I'll see you next time.